so we had the Samsung display. So what are these demos right here? Um, yeah, so we're uh, showing our AR light field display. Um, this is the first of its kind uh, to combine AR technology and 3D imagery and light field all together into one uh, display item. What does it mean, light field display? Um, so light field display, um, yeah, yep. um, it's just using, um, so it's almost like the AMOLED, we're using the light field into the display system itself um, to just help with the vibrancy of the colors and just the vivid imagery. And we're using that technology that we use um, with the AR technology and the 3D um, technology. So if you take a look over here, uh, this is the mobile LFD that uh, we exhibited in the 2018 uh, Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang. Um, and over here is uh, another display that's utilizing um, this backdrop and by registering that on the, the phone screen, they're showing a 3D visual. So this one has a 30 degree viewing angle and which um, is using 39 viewpoints. Um, so it's less than one degree separation between each viewpoint. And that means for a 30 degree angle, you can uh, shift to look at the imagery. So it's for glasses three, free 3D? Yes, it's glasses and free 3D. the best glasses free 3D display? There is at this time, yes. Yeah? yeah. All right. Um, Great, um, and we have three different um, depth cues. So the three different de visual, visual depth cues are for the binocular disparity, convergence, and motion parallax. Yes. All right. Uh, moving uh, forward, I can talk a little bit about this sound on display. So basically, um, is this uh, AMOLED? Yes, this is AMOLED. But also, what we're trying to do is get rid of this receiver hole that you speak with, yeah. and instead, we have a sound um, vibration coming from right here that vibrates the whole yeah. screen. So now, the sound when you talk to someone on the phone is coming from the whole screen. So that, if I can hold it one second, mm -hmm. so, whoa. It's very clear. Yeah, just mm -hmm. have to think, just it's very loud also. Yeah, it's very loud. It's um, like a like uh, as good as a so normal speaker? A yes, it's almost as good as a normal speaker. Um, it's in the same uh, hearing range, audio range, so it's very good. Clear, um, uh, the bass are good, the highs are good, everything? Yes, yes. And now by getting rid of the hole, we can extend the screen all the way from top to bottom for a full um, you know, edge to edge screen. Nice, so I know exactly what the... Galaxy S10 is going to be now. Yes. It's going to yes. be 100%, right? Yes, I'm 100%. No, but it is. It could be. I think that's what they're going for. That yes. would be so cool. <laughs> yes. What are we looking at here? And now we have an Aqua 4 sensor. So we do have other phones in the market that are waterproof. So um, those waterproof phones don't have an aqua touch sensor yet, which is why you can't use them underwater. But now we have a function that can distinguish between water and fingertip, even underwater. So you can see even with water over the screen, you can um, use your phone, you can go to your gallery, back, you can go to your camera. So now you can take a picture underwater, you can edit your picture, you can basically use your phone as you want underwater. So you've tweaked the, the, the touch, uh, driver mm -hmm. to work with water yes all uh, right and mm -hmm. it's it just works even when you go swimming yes yeah. so you could yes. using your phone you can be swimming you can be in a water park you can be in the ocean now you can take all the underwater photos and videos you want you can go out in the rain you don't need an umbrella oh yes perfect yes all right. exactly and uh, what's the latest um, what's the latest ppi you have for uh, vr um so our highest resolution is 1200 ppi um yeah. if you can oh you can put your camera through that's the only way that's the only so um, that's a very high resolution of uh, it's 4K in a 2.43 inch display. Yes, and very high resolution and very brightness, um, 250 nits. That's the, um, the smallest 4K display in the world. Yes, Maybe. yes, yeah. Maybe. And we have a very fast um, responsive rate of 120 hertz. Right. Yeah, so you can't um, see the individual yeah. pixels unless you're like using a magnifying glass. And there's two of them, so there's uh, two, two times 4K in here. Uh, there's one for each one, one yeah, for each eye. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, so over here we have our automotive cluster. Um, yeah. First off, we're working on an unbreakable screen. Uh, basically the screen, instead of glass, is covered with polymer so that you can bang your head into it while you're driving and it won't crack. And it's, it's made for safety so even when you get an accident, it won't shatter. Instead, mm. it'll sort of just tear. You know, at right. most, yes. Yeah. Um, or if you get angry in the car, then it's still okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, over here, we have our rollable prototype, um, as you can see. So basically, if you see the top, the screen 
is just rolling into the top and you can press it again for it to come down and the whole uh, point is that you can conserve space so you can put like a radio or air conditioner here and then now you have a uh, display as well and you can nice. just use it whenever you need um, and this is also um, possible because it's also polymer based instead of glass can you use this in the, in the airplane? Uh, eventually, so yeah, maybe it'd be you could great. roll down the display and then you you roll it up again when you want to eat or something. Uh, yes, yeah, that'd be maybe. amazing. Yeah, right. Yeah. Great. So and it could be any kind of size right now. This yes, is for yeah. what kind of uh, so is it automotive? Yes, it's for the auto automotive. So you can use your um, map and your car um, cars, and the same technology is being used <laughs> over here with the S curve um, design. Can you roll it up again? Mm -hmm. So when it goes up, is for. Oh, then yeah, it's so something behind it. Here. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, and it works. Yeah, I mean, oh. it's not a real car. There's a hole here, so you can yeah. even get the coffee. What, what goes yeah. in here? You can put anything you want here. You can put a radio in here. This is just a model, so it's a prototype. And you can have proper buttons, and mm -hmm. if you want to go into Tesla mode, <laughs> then you get yes. the display. It just yes. rolls down. Mm -hmm. Then you can use um, these different buttons. <laughs> Oh, I no. went too low. Too low. <laughs> okay, and, uh, and yeah, the same technology is being used here. Uh, we have here a convex curvature of 100 millimeters and a concave curvature of 140 millimeters. Um, and so we can, uh, you know, use it to fit into different designs, whatever you want in different cars. And this can, like you said, can become part of a, a airplane. It can be part of architectural design. You know, there's many usages for it. It would be um, nice to have one of those. Uh, uh, and the, in the sofa by the TV, <laughs> yes. maybe, I don't know, yeah, maybe in the armrest. Nice. Yes. How about, the, what is this one? Um, yes, so this is the um, HUD display. Um, we're, working, we're working for a completely transparent display. Right now, this is semi-transparent, uh, but eventually we'll be able to make one that's completely well, yeah, transparent well, yeah. that can be installed into windows, into the windshield, um, so you don't have to have a separate function. But as of right now, um, in the market, what exists is projection type HUDs, and those are very bulky and complex and expensive to make. Now this is much more thinner. What is this? Uh, AMOLED? Mm -hmm. This is the AMOLED technology, yes. So, uh, but it's not on the market yet, right? No, these are all prototypes that we're working Everything on right now. Everything here is prototypes. Now. Over here, yes. Yeah. Over here. Yeah. And this one? And this is utilizing the same 3D technology that we saw in the other room. Again, without any glasses, you can see 3D um, sort of uh, visuals, and this has a 19-degree viewing angle with 18 different viewpoints. So again, it's only like 1.15 um, angle differences between each viewpoint. Nice. Yes. But if you move your head a little bit, then you gotta jump from one one angle to the other, right? Yes, that that is what is happening. As long as you're sitting straight. Right, as long as you're sitting still at a certain point. Yeah. Okay. But uh, we're working on that right now, and to just sort of you know make it easier for your eyes to adjust to seeing things closer, further, and also seeing reality and back to your screen and forth. Yes. What is this one? This is another sort of uh, option for a uh, curved display. So this is not polymer like the other two, but this is glass based. So when it's glass based, it can, it can curve a bit, but not completely roll over like the other one. Yeah. yeah. Um, and this is just sort of showing why the slim bendable module is possible. It's because the AMOLED uses no backlight units, so there is no backlight unit. It doesn't have a color filter over it either, so that's why it could be very, very thin. And that's why we've been able to um, use polymer to make it bendable. Also, in regular LCDs, they are liquid based. So in um, different temperatures, such as uh, negative 30 degrees Celsius, they would freeze and they would stop responding like you're a touch screen. It'll break. Yes, but the AMOLED will be completely fine and will have the exact same response rate, even in freezing temperature. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, here you're showing the quantum dot. Yes. So, so uh, Samsung is a leader for quantum dot, right? Yes, yes. So um, what's the latest with quantum dot? So right now, um, here we have... Yep. So here we have our 4K 31.5-inch uh, QD glass display um, next to also our 8K 65-inch glass display. Um, so the quantum dot glass acts as a diffuser and um, it's really helping your colors come through vibrantly. Um, so this TV over here has 504 blocks that dim um, on and off and the other one has um, 720. So basically whenever the colors are not needed, they the modules actually completely turn off and that's why you can get the really rich blacks and then you can also get the really nice white <laughs> bright vibrancy um, that's better than normal LCD panels 
Um, as you can see over here, the cutie layer glass basically has imprinted the cutie sheet into the glass, and that's why they can be very thin TVs. Um, they're you know less than 3.9 inch uh, in thickness, which has reduced it in half from what was uh, previously available. Also, we're cadmium free, so it's very environmentally friendly. And uh, so the, you get wider, better colors. Mm -hmm. That's the whole point of the quantum dot, right? Yes, yes. We get a wider color gamut and a bigger contrast range. And uh, over here you have an 8K 65 inch. Uh, right here, yes. yeah, my shutter speed is. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. not quite for that one. Oh, okay. But uh, so so that's an 8K. Uh, also not yet on the market, right? Yes, these are all um, you know schedules to come in 2019. Although we can't promise anything yet. Yes. Nice. Are you showing anything more over here? No, this is. Uh, it's just uh, the end of the. So it's. So just um, that's the Samsung AMOLED booth mm -hmm. uh, display beyond imagination. Yes. And. Uh, Right here, those are the, the phones that are all on the market, right? Yes, these are all products that are in the market currently. Our Galaxy S9, um, S9 Plus, which uses a flexible AMOLED screen. Nice, yes. and uh, right here, uh, high friendly yes. display. Yeah, so this is for over here. Yeah, for there. So you can see there's a lot more blue light coming out of this screen and the blue light is what's sort of harmful for your eyes and that's what keeps you up at night if you've been using your phone for too long. Um, so we've minimized the usage of the blue light in that particular wavelength.